If you have an RTX 4070 laptop or really any RTX 4000 laptop out there and you want to get more FPS out of your laptop and maybe make it run cooler, sounding less like a jet engine and reduce your temperature, well, this is the right video for you. So welcome back at Emotion PSUs. First thing I'm going to say, even though it's not going to be that good, is uh, GPU undervolting starts from your CPU. So if you can undervolt your CPU on your laptop, you should. Because in games, what matters is GPU headroom and uh, your laptop shares CPU and GPU cooling. So you should try to get as much heat off of your CPU as possible. So if you have a Ryzen laptop, you're lucky because you can undervolt it. I have guides on the channel on how to do it. You may want to check them out. If you have an Intel laptop, maybe get a cooling pad or like lift your laptop when you're playing. No, but jokes aside, uh, for Intel, unfortunately, at the moment we are locked. I have found a way to like slightly reduce the temperatures, but it's still in trial mode. I'll try to get it out on the channel as soon as possible. So I apologize for the moment being, okay? But anyways, after you've gotten your CPU done, we can now undervolt our GPU. Now you're gonna need two pieces of software, okay? Heaven Benchmark and MSI Afterburner. I'm gonna put them all down below in the description. Uh, this is gonna work for every single laptop out there. We have a ROG Strix laptop here today uh, with a Ryzen 9. 3940HX, which again, undervolting videos on the channel, but it's gonna work for every single laptop out there. So it doesn't matter. You just need to have an NVIDIA GPU, okay? And we are now gonna get started and show you how to do it. But before we do that, just promise me one thing, okay? If the video ends up being helpful, you will drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I've been trying to cover every single CPU and GPU on the market for undervolting guides, but getting laptops has been super difficult because a while ago I was just buying them and like borrowing them from friends, but now they are so expensive, it's tricky. So if you can subscribe, maybe they will send one to me to review and uh, I can just do the undervolting tests while I'm reviewing it, okay? <laughs> so please, but in the end of the video, okay? I don't want your sub now. Let's go to work. Okay, so here we are on the laptop. Now, the first thing you actually wanna do is not undervolting related. If you have a software like Armory Create, which controls how your laptop is running, you wanna put this to maximum performance, okay? Even though it's gonna make the laptop overheat more, you wanna do it. In my case, it's ultimate, okay? Just put it on ultimate, I'm gonna do it and reboot the PC and we can then move on with the tutorial. Okay, so with your power limit unlocked, you now wanna open up Heaven Benchmark, which we downloaded, and you wanna uncheck the full screen option and basically max it out on ultra and uh, start it. Now, while Heaven Benchmark is running, you want to hit the Windows key and open up MSI Afterburner right here. Now, as you can see, you cannot change anything. That's because we have two different GPUs in our laptop and every single one of you is going to have that. So we want to click here and select our 4070 or the GPU you want to do this on. So let's just do that. And now we can actually get started. We want to go into settings. Enable voltage control, enable voltage monitoring, start with Windows, start minimized, hit apply, reboot, and here we are. Okay, now you wanna click on the curve editor and this is actually where we are working. So I'm gonna give you a preset in case you don't, just don't wanna think about it, but since laptops are so different uh, compared to desktops, I just wanna teach you how to do it yourself, okay? Other than just telling you how to do it. As you can see, we are now running at uh, 2300 megahertz and uh, it's not telling you our voltage, but the graph is telling us, okay? So there is the bar over here, which means our graph is actually on one volt right here, one volt. So the lower we get the voltage, the better the laptop is gonna run. So I'm aiming for around a 900 millivolt um, undervolt, okay? And now I know that I'm gonna be able to do this with the stock clock, so without reducing the performance. But even if we reduce the clock, we are not actually reducing the performance because it's gonna run more stable. But anyways, here's how you do it, okay? So you wanna go ahead and grab your desired voltage point, which is gonna be either 900 or 925 or 875, one of those three. So 875 is gonna be the best for efficiency, 900 the good mid range, and 925 the best for performance, okay? So you wanna go ahead, grab it. I'm gonna do it the 900. Grab this point, hold shift, and lift the whole curve up until you match the initial line. I recommend you go a bit lower for stability, at least to start. So I'm gonna do 2300, okay? And wanna see if it's stable. Okay, so just bring it around 2300. Now it can be a bit lower, no problem. You then wanna click on the void, hold shift and select all the curve from the right side 
of what of the point we had and select it all and bring it all down to zero like this bam and now you want to hit apply and pray it doesn't crash and for me it worked so we are now running 2300 megahertz but we are now running at a lot lower voltage and as you can see my temperature is already dropping and the fans on my laptop are so much quieter already so this is how you do it like the proper procedure now the only trick the only thing is to find the actual values but if you want to just copy it and close the video i recommend you do 900 2200 okay so not 2300 but 900 2200 is going to be just best sweet spot for most of you guys for efficiency uh, you then want to go ahead and on the memory clock you get you can get some free performance by just putting a nice 400 there and hit apply but this is going to increase your temperature okay so it's free performance but increasing your temperature so it's up to you if you want to do it but now let's go back to the curve i'm going to give you just a few values around so you can just decide what to do so if you want to just uh, keep the same performance you can just look at whatever number is here get just slightly more and use that so in my case 2300 is around what's stable in games because heaven benchmark is a bit lighter than games but you can do 2400 and uh, the three voltages are as i told you but if you want to push it a bit more you can go even 950 okay so my recommendation let's recap is 900 2200 if you want to be extra safe 925 2300 if you want more performance and the rest you need to test for yourself if you want to do 875 you're going to need to do 2100 megahertz on average okay those are my testing you may want to try them out so one last time i'm showing you guys how to do it in case you want to just copy it with the 900 uh, what i recommend for most of you guys so hold shift 900 bring it all the way up to 2200 right there click on the void hold shift select the right side flatten it out hit apply this is it for efficiency if you want to get free performance go here put also 400 here hit apply and this is it if you can go a bit higher it's better on the core clock but you need to test it out now let's go on to settings we want to start this with windows start minimized hit apply hit ok click on here go on save save on profile one hit on one hit ok and now this is gonna run forever and ever in our laptop and uh, now if you watched the video this far if it was helpful drop a like and a sub and i hope to see you guys again in a different video under vaulting related or maybe pc building related see you guys bye bye